are at the Nahu Trailhead. We've just stashed our bikes up at Timber Lake. And this is at the edge of the burn. This, this trail is open. We're gonna go up Onahu Trail um, to big, to Long Meadows, across Long Meadows, which is, there's no trail there. It's just kind of make your own way. And then we'll eventually pick up a trail closer to Timber Lake Trail, and then take the Timber Lake Trail down to the Timber Lake Trail head. And then we grab our bikes and ride back here. And we are being serenaded by about three or four male elks in the area. And we did just see one though. He's a small one. So obviously that was a moose. We've, um, we think we're on the right trail. That's Onahu River, pretty sure, not 100%. Um, and it's on our right side, but we were on this other trail for a little bit, which looked like a nice main trail. And it started, I started realizing we were going the wrong, complete wrong direction. So, Hopefully we're going the right direction now. Yeah, I think we're going a little more northeast now. So, Onahu on our left. This is, yeah, if you're gonna do this trail, you need to have a good topo map. And I'm actually thinking, you know, what would be better yet is map quest with a great, with plenty of battery power that'll give you a GPS location exactly where you are versus the top topography. And that would, but I would still have a regular compass, like a manual regular compass, make sure you know how to use it, and a topo map, hence this, a good topo map, because this is really confusing here. And, and you have to have confidence. You're the good trails everywhere. But take you the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was the thing. We first got in this trail. It looked like the main trail. Let's keep going. And then I'm realizing, so I'm going northwest. It's like, wait, the slope's on our left. I feel like we're going southwest. And certainly, sure enough, we were. We were going 180 degrees in the wrong direction. So, now this part of the trail looks great. But apparently, when you ask the question, where the moose are, they are hanging out uh well they're they're just staying away from the valley uh, from the colorado river where they're easily spotted right where they don't have to deal with the angry elk so anyway i'm gonna shut this down all right we just had a good stretch going north and by good stretch i mean maybe a quarter mile with the river on our left and we're going uphill and map says we need to be crossing. I think it's right here, Jane. Probably the best spot right here. All right, okay, I'm gonna turn this off and we'll cross this creek. All right, so we're trying something here. For the most part, we're... Pardon me? For the most part, we're lost. Trying to go in the correct direction. At least where we think the trail is supposed to be, but there's no sign of any trail. I mean, we... There's some trampledness along the base of this, but anyway, we're winging it right now. We may be turning around. All right, so we are up on this slope, effectively pretty lost. 
Okay, we're coming through here. Oh, there's two moose. There's a cow. And then there's just, I don't know if you can see that shadow there, but just below her is a bull. And that's the direction that we're wanting to go. And we're already thinking about calling this quits because we are pretty lost. At least as far as directionally diff you know, having a hard time finding what we need to find. Of course, that kind of looks like the top, doesn't it? Okay, so question is, where are the moose? The answer is there, deep in the forest. So that's moose number four, three for this hike. Yes, we will assume this is that one little creek that we crossed, that we saw earlier, which the hope is comes out of the Long Meadows. We're gonna try our best to keep this to our left. It's actually, I think it comes out of the left side of the Long Meadows and the map showed the trails coming out of the right side of the Long Meadows. But, holy cow, this is like, okay, if you don't know what the hell you're doing uh, and we're on the verge of that, you need to really study this before you come because um, you need to just plan on going completely cross, cross country because there are places where there are just no trails. Um, and there's false trails. Yeah, there lots of false trails. Um, and then the, the dead end or go completely the wrong direction for God knows how long. So, um, yeah. Compass and map. Compass map. I would I would go, if you can, and I'm, I am not an expert on it, but something like an all trail, something that's going to give you your location and a detailed topographic map or your location on a detailed topographical map. That's what you want. So When we get to the meadows, I need to touch my phone. Okay. On your Probably be battery. good. Me too. Did you turn yours off of uh, airplane mode? I did. No, it's on airplane mode again. How you doing, Jane? Well, we just had a treacherous time over rocks and boulders, and I fell into darkness, and I fought the Belrog of Morgoth, and I finally made it to the meadow, which will take me to the Shire. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so this is a little stream we ended up following and staying to the right of, and we have come to a meadows that is long, and it is going in the correct direction, and it is hopefully in the correct place. So, in theory, once we get to the opposite side of this meadows, we should be able to find a trail on the right side that'll take us to... Our, our bikes. Uh, yeah, to... It'll, well, it'll, it's supposed to be a short trail. This one on the other end is supposed to be a short trail, and it's supposed to then connect up with the Timber Lake Trail. We will see. I thought this was gonna be a quick jaunt through the meadow or through a little forest on a nice little trail to get through this meadow. And I thought this was gonna be the challenging spot. So, yeah, we'll see. Well, it looks doesn't look too bad. We just need to avoid, avoid the noid, I guess. All right, bye. All right, so we're making our way down Long Meadows, and as if everything out here ends up being bigger than you think it is. So this is a very Long Meadows. Luckily, it is going in the correct direction. So I'm pretty confident. Jane's a bit nervous, but we will see. I think we'll get there just fine. My legs are tired. Taking a break on a rock. Very quiet up here. These were probably the noisiest things. We did hear, I don't know, I'm assuming it's an elk squeal a little while ago. It's either that or a horse. It sounded like a horse, but it could have been elk. Yeah. I don't know if moose make any sound, but we've seen lots of elk and moose dropping up here. Um, in the meadow, but have not seen any large animals of any kind, other than oh, just maybe just elk or two big moose in the yeah yeah we already said yeah we're just uh, yeah we saw three moose on the way up here and um, all we've seen in this meadow though are birds. All right, far side of the valley, moose. 
Does he look male. like he's got horns? Uh, I think he's a big male. It's by yeah. the way, he's carrying his head. It's a big male with big horns. Wouldn't have seen him if we wouldn't have stopped and done that. Mm. Okay. If you went into the trees, you'd find, I mean, you can see that, something that looks like a trail. Um, we went to the end of the meadow, cut through, what, maybe about 100, 200 feet, and we found this. It may or may not be the main trail, but it's better than anything else we've seen so far, so that's what we're taking. And it's, the, luckily on this end, the trail, it's not too long of a distance to get to the Timber Creek Trail, so, and we can see the timber, the valley over there, and Timber Creek has got to be at the bottom of that. So, here we go. So we're coming down lots and lots of this, lots and lots of this unmaintained trail, but it's well-traveled. Hi. Say hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. I see the big trail right there, I think. What did we just find? Timber what is Creek. Timber Creek, thank God. Yeah. Holy moly. Well, Scott, there's a bridge up here somewhere. Anyway, here we go. We're back to, it feels like I'm back to civilization. Even though we're like, th what, three miles up on Timber Creek yeah. Trail? How many miles to the meadow? Uh, maybe there's a sign on the other side, but. Point eight. Yeah, point eight to the meadow. That's this this little trail here, which was, once we found it was great, but um, at the Timber Creek and little bridge, one log bridge, half hewn. All right, here we go. Another sign right there. All right, just cross, cross the bridge. If you want to go to Timber Lake, you go up there. We did that, what, two days ago? Beautiful hike, gorgeous lake, very steep from this point out. We get to go this way, which is down three miles to where our bikes are. Going down Timber Lake Trail. So, it's pretty much all like this. No worries, no real difficulties, except in a little, oh, look. Oh. So, Timberlake Trail is pretty darn easy, especially going downhill. Um, at least this section is below the uh, cutoff to um, the Long Meadows. However, there is this spot right here Caution, active landslide area. This goes, we're, we're, we've been through this before, and this is a moving landslide. It's continuing to move, so they're not doing anything with it. And you have to get across this. So it's possible, we've, we've done it. We go, you go down here, you scoot across, you can do it. But this goes up quite a ways. What are you looking at over here? You don't see the bridge, unless it's over there. These are the fifth people we've seen today. But, yeah. Hey, did you make it? Uh, yeah, I made it. Didn't kill myself. <laughs> Didn't even bruise myself. Awesome. Yeah, this is kind of quite the, quite the thing here. And I'm not even going to try to repair it because apparently it's not worth it. It's still moving. Our bikes are here. Then we got them strapped to a picnic table with like literally four locks on it. What do you think, there, babe? I think I gotta get on my bike and ride six miles. Yeah. I think. I am done. This is 
probably the toughest, in some ways, the toughest hike we've done. Just from the standpoint of going cross country and yeah, going, going up the side of a mountain, literally going up the side of a hill or mountain, jumping over trees and hill and dale. All right, I'm gonna record this until I get to the pavilion there. Uh, wilderness permit for camping, that's not what we want. And we have bikes, look, we have bikes. All right, here we go, Long Meadows Trail. That's where the split off, 3.5 miles from here. And then and then, if you wanna to go to Timberlake, which we did a couple days ago, you'd go 5.3 miles. So anyway, signing off, this one's done, mostly, except for the bike ride. <laughs>